What's up guys, hope you are doing well there. You have come to the right place to learn many things including different tutorials, tech reviews, motivation and many other educational stuff. So if you want more, subscribe and ring the bell. My name is Leenath and welcome to my YouTube channel Seek Show. During this tutorial, give me your feedback, questions in the comment section and don't forget to hit a like or dislike for this video at the end. Ok, let's move to the today's lesson. Ok, right friends, in my last video I showed you how to create an interactive web map for your website. If you haven't watched, please check the description section for the link. I will move to the next tutorial of Google My Maps. I will show you a few other things. Ok, let's get started. You have familiar with these locations now I have created four locations and today I am going to show you the users of these icons these things first of all I want to show you how to measure the direct distances straight distances between two points you can should use this measure distances and areas tool click on it and simply click here and drag anywhere you want to measure the distance I want to measure the distance between these two points just click first one and the next place you want to end it up double click and you will get the distance 6.27 kilometers likewise again you if you want to measure the distances between these four points first click second click third click and fourth click this is the straight distances right if you want to get the distance which are not straight simply click again suppose if you want to start from here and you want to get the distances in a path like this you you have to increase the number of clicks number of points you want to uh, if you want to get the distance this uh, which is not straight right double click and you can in, end up 9.31 kilometers if you want to get measure the area of these four points in this shape what you want to do you have to click here start location and this one third one fourth one and you will have to select here you can see here you can see the plus icon plus mark and the mark will change into a hand hand that is where you have to double click then you will get the area 15.1 kilometers that's so simple right now I'm going to show you how to add the directions you can see this icon here adding a directions into your web map simply click this one your start location is here you can see the untitled layer has been added to this uh, table of contents I can name it you can simply click the first location and the third second location on your route you can zoom in and zoom out using your scroll button in the mouse click and drag reposition your map now you can see the direction now your route or the destination is not here your destination is here right now you have to add another destination by clicking this one and you can click the third location it will automatically show you the path and you want to add another destination as the final for me click this one if you want to change the path another custom path not the suggested path you can simply zoom in so mean you can delete or change simply click at another destination now you can see simply move you have to simply move otherwise so mean and simply move then you can get a custom direction this is not difficult right okay right. for now uh, to uh, these uh, driving directions are enough for me so I'm going to delete the final location 
right now i want to add my office the location of my office right now you can see this add marker is not enabled what you have to do you have to simply add another layer here please try to practice these things with me and sim now it has been enabled add a marker my office is location somewhere near here I will give it a click I will name it as my office now I am going to show you now I'm creating this for my website you can have a description here right uh, let's get fun here I will I will give it a description right and save it you can see your location map Right, your office location simply click it again this style click I will select this icon if you want more icons you can see thousands of and different different icons symbols are available based on your preference you can choose them places transportation crises weather and animals so shapes for now I will select uh, my previous icon this one and Close. If you want to add a picture, you can of course add an image or video. I will upload a uh, new map for my office. Okay, this is my image and I'm going to save it. Now you can see the image and the name of the location and the description. You can add a description. Right now I want another location my competitors location I'm going to add another marker I will name it as my uh, competitor one and if you want you can give a description and the image and save it here I'm going to change the style and more icons and I will select uh, this icon and click OK. Right, I'm going to close it. Right, this is my competitor and my office here. Now I am going to show or embed this map as an interactive web map in my website. I hope you have watched my last video. Right, OK. Here's what you should do. Click these options and embed on my site. This is an interactive web map. You can see the HTML code. Simply click it and copy. Go to your blog or website HTML and I'm going to paste it here and I will move into compose mode. You can see the web map. Right, it is being loaded. Now, this is the interactive web map you can create by your own. Please try to think different and creative manner. You have to do this in a creative manner. Now, this is an interactive web map. You can zoom in and zoom out for the visitors uh, who can uh, navigate when uh, they are in your website if you click this icon if a visitor click this icon you can see the uploaded image and you and the name of the location and the description this is very much useful for the business websites travel websites so try to apply this one practice this one you can do this by your own okay that's all what I wanted to show you with this tutorial Hit a like if this was useful. Please try to practice this thing, these things and apply this knowledge anywhere. Okay, that's all I wanted to show you with this tutorial. Hit a like if this was useful. And please try to practice these things. If you have any creative idea, please comment down below. Subscribe and ring the bell. I will be back with another new video for you soon. Till then, take care and goodbye.